On Tuesday, 11 minority MPs on the Joint Committees on Trades and Industry and Tourism voted against the 80 million cities allocated for the construction of the National Cathedral in the 2023 budget. The move attracted some commendation from the public who have argued that the expending on the National Cathedral project is not prudent at a time the country is faced with economic crisis. It is a recommendation to the House. It is not that the thing has been rejected because the committee doesn't have the power to reject anything. They have the power to recommend to the plenary that when we went in and looked at this, we are recommending to this house that approve the budget of the Minister of Tourism without the cathedral. So now it can come to the floor. I continue to pray that when we get to the floor, our number should be more than them. But if their number is more than us, they can reverse that. Muntaka Mohamed Mubarak gave a hint to marshal all NDC MPs to the floor to vote against it. The interesting thing is that yes, it's a voice vote, but you have the right to challenge the speaker's voice decision by calling for a division where we will all be counted. But it doesn't guarantee us, because if today all of them are there, there will be 138. I'm assured, as of this morning, I've cross-checked, double cross-checked, I have my 136. I don't know, because I know some people on their side had travel. Are they back? I don't know. Are they checking their numbers? I don't know. But when we get to the floor, if we are more than them, you can be rest assured that all these recommendations from our committees will see the light of day. We will defeat them. But if they are more than, more than us, we will do all the argument, but we will vote. And the vote is simple majority. And it is voice. It is public. It is open. It is not secret. Well, you can get one or two of them to join us. So we need to manage the expectation of the public. That's why I keep telling that people don't understand what we do. And now somebody will have gone with it. Then tomorrow may both for bit. Then you hear that, oh, the cathedral is right. Say, ah, the majority have gone to collect money. I mean, and that's what people will say, ah, what happened? Because they defeated it. And then they went and saw them, and then they came back and voted for it. He said the same applies to the Foreign Affairs Committee, where the minority MPs have also voted against the pulling down of the Accra International Conference Centre. Uh, foreign Ministry's budget will equally also be a recommendation to the plenary. We have said that a lot of cutting must be done into this budget. We, apart from that, we are battling uh, one billion uh, resource mobilization at the Ministry of Finance. How do you say that you want to use one billion for mobilizing resources? We thought that's too much. One billion in this difficult period. We have this uh, contingency vote. We are hearing that they've tried to half it because it was 1.4 billion. We still insist that, look, you shouldn't have more than maybe probably 200 or 300 in the contingency vote. You have the VAT, you have the E levy. If they are going to take the threshold, we will stand. But all we want the public to know. Whatever is happening at the committee, I have a recommendation to the plenary.